Hi, I am Dr. Venkatesh. I am a consultant neonatologist. I am discussing about a neonate. It was presented to us on disc 16 of life with history of hurried breathing and poor feeding. He was born full term with weight of 3.2 kilos, postnatal period uneventful, discharged on day 4 of life on direct breastfeeding. On examination, he was irritable, respiratory rate 80 per minute, heart rate 130 beats per minute, blood pressure normal and the heart sound was well auscultated onto the right of the chest where all the peripheral pulses including the femorals were felt well. The chest X-ray was performed demonstrating the apex of the heart to the right, liver in the left hypochondrium and the stomach to the right. The ECG was performed which demonstrated the inverse of P wave in the lead one. The segmental approach using echocardiography was performed which demonstrated the aorta in the center, inferior vena cava to the left, right atrium, right ventricle to the left, left atrium, left ventricle to the right, uh, normally uh, rated rate vessels, subaortic VST measuring 9 mm. The pulmonary to systemic uh, flow ratio was performed which demonstrated 4 is to 1 indicating the four times flow into the lung compared to the systemic. At this moment, the diagnosis was made dextrocardia with situs inverses in failure. He was started, he was put on uh, respiratory support CPAP. He was started on diuretic furosemide and lopil maliate. He gradually improved. He's at the moment on full feeds of respiratory support on furosemide and enlarophin malate. My friends, the dextrocardia with situs inverses having normal related gate vessels has got a better prognosis as usually it is not associated with complex cardiac problems. Parents were counseled in detail by the team, including the neonatologist, the cardiac physician, and the cardiac surgeon. The need for surgery for the birth, VST in future also was discussed. My friends, when you have a baby with dextrocardia and situs inverses, keep in mind a very important condition called cartagenous syndrome, which is also called immortal cilia syndrome. This is very important, especially while counseling, because the prognosis depends upon this. Usually it is detected on genetic workup and also looking at the movement of the cilia under electron microscope. Parents were also discussed about this. So at the moment baby is better on these medications pyrosomide and enolapimaliate advised to continue these medications and get the baby for follow-up clinics for further suggestions. Thank you so much.